It is outrageous that Lauren Boebert voted with the big drug companies and against lowering the price of insulin. In Colorado, it's one of the latest ads criticizing Lauren Boebert. She voted three times to keep the medication that keeps me alive unaffordable. Her priorities are out of whack. Whack, which is also slang for pleasuring a man's you-know-what, is by design. The barrage and double entendres have arrived in the midst of what TPM and the Associated Press describe as Lauren Boebert's apology tour. Quote, the new persona's damage control, according to the AP, as the lawmaker tries to clean up the negative attention she received a few weeks back when she was caught red-handed lying about vaping, fondling, and getting thrown out of a Beetlejuice show back home in Denver. Bobert's in-person apologies are similar to the soft-spoken ones she has made on television. Well, I mean, first of all, um, what happened is I messed up. Uh, I went on a date night, and I am a congresswoman and a public figure, but believe it or not, I'm human too. Still, the trolling of Lauren Bobert continues. On Halloween outside a Colorado campaign office, demonstrators erected this blow-up worm character from Beetlejuice as a reminder of Bobert sexually groping her date in public. Other constituents wore this, the official Lauren Boebert Halloween costume. Other trick-or-treaters displayed Lauren's date. In the adult-sized costume, one size fits most. I have apologized to my constituents, will continue to do so. Um, all of those um, in Colorado who may have felt um, let down, um, I, I hear you. As if the mockery wasn't bad enough, Boebert is now polling behind Democratic challenger Adam Frisch, who she beat in 2022 by less than 600 votes. You know, the voters are sick and tired of this embarrassment, whether it's an audience member watching a theater performance. But what's even worse is her embarrassment in the halls of Congress and those committee meetings when she's not focused on the job. She's very, very focused on herself. And there's real issues out there with real access to health care, reproductive right protection. You know, let's remember that Representative Bobar wants to ban all abortions across the country as well. And one of the reasons we're doing so well is because we're focused on the task at hand, which is what do the voters want and not this anger tainment industry that she's so proud of participating in, even in her off time. According to the Associated Press, Frisch has raised at least $7.7 .7 million, the third largest House campaign chest nationwide, to Boebert's $2.4 million. He's asking voters to help him stop the circus, reviving a slogan from the 2022 election. Democratic groups separate from Frisch are also seeing a windfall and are pouring the money into anti boebert campaign ads. If there's one thing that sticks with you from serving as you leave no one behind. But Lauren Boebert voted against health care for veterans who were exposed to the toxic burn pits. They come back and they're sick. We have a responsibility to make sure that these individuals are taken care of when they return from war. For her part, on policy issues, Boebert is trying to focus Colorado voters on President Biden. He has made it clear that he cares more about appeasing the radical climate change activists than protecting the millions of oil and gas workers and producers in America. I was disappointed but not surprised this July when the Biden administration filed this proposed rule entitled Fluid Mineral Leases and Leasing Process, which mandates provisions from the partisan so-called Inflation Reduction Act. So clearly, Lauren Boebert has gotten better the past few years at reading. Still, the controversies over her, even from the hearings and the House floor, are hard to forget. And Boebert's greatest hits, or worst hits, if you will, are lengthy. Uh, amendment. Um, it decreases the salary of the deputy, uh, deputy under secretary of the Food and Nutrition Services. And that was Lauren Boebert on the House floor glitching out. And um, Madam Chair, I would like to reserve for the time being. Gentlewoman reserves. Translation, I need more time to remember what I'm supposed Did, to be talking about. For what? Madam Chair, one moment. My apologies, I do not have amendment number 77 in front of me. Um, but Madam Chair, I do urge adoption of Amendment 77 to be um, considered to decrease the salary of um, the Deputy Secretary. Coming from this administration and from the Democrat Party, is, is there anything ever in good faith? 
produce the documents and, and show us real information. And if you can't, well, maybe you just made the whole thing up and we're not going to default on June 1st. She called the potential default a hoax and strongly opposed raising the debt ceiling. We, we can't. We have already done our part. If anything, I want to increase the ante. She tweeted, you can count me as a no on this deal. We can do better. And yet, Lauren Boebert did not turn up to vote on debt ceiling. She furiously campaigned against. If hammers are the cause of more death than firearms, then maybe we need to start having background checks on hammers. I mean, look out, Black & Decker. Liberal hacks are at it again with their phony Lauren Boebert is so dumb hashtag. I don't think she's a moron. I wouldn't say that she's a moron just because I... Colorado's Republican Congresswoman Lauren Boebert repeatedly yelled from the House floor trying to interrupt President Biden during his speech. I know. One of those, one of those soldiers is my son, Major Bo Biden. We have a resident in the White House who has embarrassed our country. I, I think that people would love if I would tone it down, but you know, we, we had um, our, our Lord Jesus that certainly didn't tone it down for anyone. Um, I went to get um, birth control and um, I was there at the counter and went to pay for it. And um, the, the price was very, very high. I said, wow, is this a three, six month prescription? No, ma'am, this is one month. And I said, it's cheaper to have a kid. And I left it there. And now I have my third son, Caden Bobert. She said, what? Lauren Boebert said the Constitution is not evolving. To say that spits in the face of every single one of our founders. I thought the Bill of Rights was part of the Constitution evolving. That is part of the Constitution. So wasn't it a moronic for, for her to say that? Mm. Still, when Republicans are asked about Boebert's self-proclaimed Christianity and the contrast with her personal actions, there is not much mercy. And a lot of GOP voters are pointing out Lauren Boebert's hypocrisy. What do you say to Lauren Boebert? I say that if you're going to talk the talk, you need to walk the walk. I mean, we all answer to God. Not everybody's a Christian just because they say they believe in God. I mean, Satan believes in God. Satan knows scripture. She's out there saying the most dangerous thing in America is drag shows, and yet she's at a family event with her hand between some guy's legs. What do you think of that? Yeah, I don't know about in public. Do it in private, but. She's a good looking girl. I think at the end of the day, we can all be hypocrites at certain times in our lives. And, you know, for me, God saved that in me and, you know, understanding what's right and what's wrong and leading my life through faith and choosing not to do those things. I think that a lot of people put on a show for camera versus when they think that they are behind closed doors. She's talking about family values and then she's at this family. Was she was wrong. It was inappropriate what she did. It was wrong and inappropriate. So the question is, as Lauren Boebert crisscrosses her district, apologizes and tries to make amends, can she save her seat and save her political career? Polls show she is trailing Adam Frisch by double digits. And making matters worse, a lot of Republican donors who have given money to Boebert in the past are now only giving Boebert the cold shoulder. To be fair, a lot can change between now and November 2024, but by all accounts, Boebert's public groping session, along with the seemingly daily hashtag Lauren Boebert is so dumb, are having an impact. Plenty of Boebert's constituents seem disgusted and appear to have had enough. And even Lauren Boebert seems to know her once firm political support has become limp <laughs> and flaccid. By the way, Lauren Boebert is friendly with New York House Republican George Santos, and due to his own problems, Santos seems distraught these days. On the very day Republicans introduced their expulsion bill, Santos tweeted, everything has an end in life. Hmm. Check out that video at the link below. I'm David Schuster. Thanks for joining us.